Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. Welcome if you're new. I am so glad that you are here crafting with me today. Today's project is something a little bit different. I was going through some things in my home and found some store-bought cards that I purchased quite a while back. I think I probably bought these a year, maybe a year and a half ago. Anyway, these to me, I love them, but they are so plain. And these were definitely bought before I got into cra uh, crafting with my Cricut and card making, etc. I decided today to embellish these with my Cricut. So I'm going to be using some cardstock, some vinyl, and hopefully some vellum. We'll see how that one works out. Let's go ahead and jump right into the project and get these embellished and looking extra special. Doing a variety of things, one different things for each card, but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get the stamping part done because I want to be able to make sure that the ink is dry. I used my Cricut to cut out one of these banners and I just used the shapes so we're just going to come in here, let's see, is this, I'm trying to think, is this too long, is this, hmm, how about thank you, I wonder if that would, alright, it looks like thank you is going to give the best look here, so, I'm going to put that there, and ironically, I'm going to go ahead and do this large thank you. And that is actually going to go right there. Okay, so we're going to get this. All right. Good deal. Okay. And this mat here is just like a little tacky mat. It, it's not real sticky like I can, but for whatever reason, it holds my paper and my paper doesn't go anywhere. So I really, really like it. Now these stamps are new. I haven't used the thank you for either one of these. So I'm just going to condition them by running my fingers over the stamp to help remove some of that manufacturing coating. The more you use your stamps, the more conditioned they become. And I don't stamp a whole lot. I would say probably Half of my card embellishments are Cricut drawn or cut out using cardstock or vinyl. And the other half are stamps. So I like to do a variety. Okay, let's go ahead and get those inked up. And I'm using the Archival Ink in Jet Black by Ranger. And I'm just going to stamp this up. All right, not bad. Now the, the good thing about a Misty, and I held out for a really long time because um, I either didn't do any stamping or I just used those little acrylic blocks. And what I found is that I am not a good stamper. Um, I tend to rock things too hard or get them cattywampus or something. So I went ahead and I got the Mini Misty a while back. And then here as an early birthday present for myself, I got the regular sized Misty because they were running a special. And I really like to get craft supplies when they are um, either on sale or on clearance. That way we are maximizing our crafting dollars. So I think I'm going to bring this in. Okay, I think those look great. Well, let's deal with our vellum. Okay, I'm going to pull this up because I don't want it to get 
onto the vellum and let's see I'm just gonna close that okay so really I can just put that right down here and I'm gonna close up this ink okay and I'll clean these stamps in just a moment I bought some water-based stamp cleaner from Hobby Lobby and it was $4.49 and I will tell you this cleans your stamps really really well and it cleans your fingers but baby wipes are also a good alternative so those are really good to use as well. Hazon ink this is a solvent ink. This is jet black. This is by the same manufacturer that makes the Memento ink and the Versafine. And this is supposed to be like permanent on things that are slick. It has this little um, protective cover that you have to put back on. And so here we go. We're going to ink this up. So the idea with the stays on is that you can stamp on vellum and it won't smear and it and it will dry. So we're going to give that a try. Here we go. It maybe it's me, but the ink pad actually smells good. It smells like a cherry. This I don't know if you can see that's what it looks like. I'm wondering if I should stamp it one more time or if I should wait a little bit, let it dry, and then stamp it. Okay, maybe I'm going to let that hang out for a minute and I'll stamp it in just a minute. I don't, I don't want to mess it up because I would really like to use the vellum. So I'm just going to set this aside and hang out. Let's go ahead and take care of card number one. So this is that archival ink. All I did was use my Cricut to create a banner and I stamped a thank you on it. And then I am going to, going to turn around and use some foam tape. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do double foam tape or if I just want to do foam tape. Okay, let me get my scissors. Okay, and I feel like I need like half essentially non-stick so I can use them and like I don't have a bunch of white foam tape um, particles so I think it's a good deal nope, I need one tiny little piece over here all right and we'll put that away Okay, so let me grab this little weeding tool here, a poker. Okay, and so now this little wavy, oh, that is very sticky foam tape. And I think that particular roll came from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember offhand. Okay, so I'm going to just line this, since my Misty is in use right now, I'm going to just line this up, actually, there we go, okay, so I want it to be, I think I'm going to line it up the top of those pink peaks and at the edge okay 
And there we go. So basically one store-bought card, now embellished. Um, we could even add a few a little of these. These would be great. Grab my wand and um, just want to put a couple of these. We don't need very many. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. All right. These are from Spellbinders. They're called um, Opal Aura, and they're very iridescent. And they kind of have like a pink and yellow. Like I shouldn't say yellow. I don't know if it's necessarily yellow, but it, they kind of take on whatever um, whatever colors are around them. And they just add a little bit of shine. Okay, so there we go. Just a little bit of shine, not too much, not too little. All right, so we have card number one is finished. Okay, let's see how this is doing. Okay, that looks like it's mostly dry. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it just ever so slightly one more time with the stays on and then we'll let it dry a little bit more. Now the stays on is definitely something that, um, you know, I, I think it's definitely something that is hard to get off of your stamps. Oop, got some on my finger. Definitely don't want that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to let this dry. So we're not quite done with that. While this is drying over here, let me move that out of the way. Let's go ahead and go to another card. So let's take a look at what we have. Um, let's see. Okay, this particular card right here, I am actually, let's see, I am doing an offset of vinyl, and then I'm going to do like a sentiment. So this is going to be my offset, and then I'm going to have my sentiment. Okay, and let's see, I'm going to need, oh, I need my transfer tape. Okay, and I'm going to put this here just so it doesn't go anywhere. This particular sentiment says for you, and we have... The offset is here, and then the words are going to go on top, and they're going to be white. Okay. Oop. There we go. I was going to say, my R was not wanting to cooperate. Then we have the two O's in the middle. All right. Okay, that takes care of that. Now I'm going to essentially going to so this is paper transfer tape. It's very low tack and it has a grid. So I'm going to use this because this is paper and I don't want it to stick. And if I were to use um, regular transfer tape, it would tear my paper. Okay. Now, this for you part 
we're going to put down on top of the offset. Okay, so you can see it through there. And let's see. Let me do it this way. Okay. I think it needs to go up just a hair. I'm going to see if I can pull this up really fast and redo that placement. Well, the Y. The Y wants to just do its own thing. So. There we go. Okay, so that side was fine, so this side, this needed to go up just a hair. Okay, so here is the for you, and this is going to go on top. And I'm going to just burnish the front and the back just like... I would with any other vinyl and with any other transfer tape. Okay, let's pull that off there. And again, I'm just using this to help hold down my paper so it is or my card so it doesn't go anywhere. And then this is going to go in the middle. Okay, so probably about right there. Okay, I think that looks better. And I'm just going to burnish with my finger over the words because I don't really want to have this transfer tape, which it's very gentle. It's very low tack. It just comes right off. It's like a masking tape. There we go. Okay, so this is card number two. This is just two layers of vinyl that was cut out with my Cricut and it is going to embellish a store-bought card. All right, let's move on to card number three. All right, so card number three, I'm going to put this down. Card number three, it is going to have a scallop circle there and then we have, I thought it would be kind of fun to use a sentiment. I actually haven't used a sentiment like this before. Let me move all of this out of the way. Sorry about that. Okay. So this sentiment. Oh my, I'm going to have to recut this because for some reason, my Cricut did not, um, it did not cut the S, it cut part of the S, but not all of the S. That is the weirdest thing. It only cut part of it. Okay, well maybe in that case, so my options are, not worry about the smile at all, which I actually think I might not do. So the question is, do we think that that smiley face is going to be too small for this large scallop? Okay, tell you what, it's just paper and I can always flip it over on the other side. So let's give it a try and see what happens. I want to just get the face and leave the outline. Okay, so now I'm gonna use that same transfer tape. I'm just gonna use a little bit of it. I have so much of it, so 
I am not necessarily concerned with saving, well, and I don't, I really don't save the masking tape. Like once, once you use it, um, you know, it's not like the other, but it is so important for paper crafts. Okay, so there's our little smiley face. And then we put this on here so it doesn't move. Okay. Okay. So there is the smiley face. So the question is, do we think do we think that this is, or I guess I could come back in and put smile over it, or I could even write that in with the, like the white jelly roll pen. So I think I'm just going to leave that for right now and go ahead and put this down on the card like so. And... And I'm just going to use some of these little adhesive foam rectangles that I have. Let's get one cut. Okay. I think that's good. And we need a small, small piece over here. That way we we don't want to have any sagging with our cardstock. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the smiley face. And I can always come back in and add the word smile. I could also heat emboss it down on the bottom. I could add it in another color of vinyl. There's really a lot of possibilities. So I am not going to take the time to recut that one smile right now. I can do that later if I change my mind. And then a little bit of glue just for float time. Okay. And then we're going to try and get that right in the center. Okay. All right. That looks fun and different definitely easy very little scraps so in fact pretty much everything I'm doing tonight is using scrap vinyl so there we go card number three okay so for card number four I have here now these are just cardstock and they are this is out of 110 pound cardstock. This is the Recollections, and it's actually quite sturdy. I'm actually quite impressed with it. The the 65 pound Recollections, eh, you know, if if you don't need something substantial, it's it's good. But for a card base or embellishments, then it's great. So what I thought I would do. Of course, now that I just threw all those down there, um, what I thought I would do would be to um, take all of these and stack them and then put them on the card. So I'm just going to use my little precision tip bottle here, get a little bit of glue down, 
So I'm going to stack all three of these. It's going to give some great dimension. Okay. And the glue allows us to move this around where we need it. Look at that. That's perfect. Like, you really can't even tell that that's two separate pieces. Okay. Let that hang out for just a second. Do the second one. You know, just enough glue to get them to stick together. Oh, just in case I did not mention it. This, I cut this out with my Cricut. And just like I would with vinyl. And that way, um... I had a nice little die cut. See? Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get this on, get this on here. But the question is, do we want it down here? Or do we want it in the middle? That is such a hard call. I kind of really like things I don't know why, I just love things down there. I don't know if it's, maybe I'm just weird. Okay, so I think I am gonna put it down in that bottom corner. All right, then we're going to make sure we get plenty of glue. We don't want it to like be oozing everywhere, but we definitely want enough to keep this on the card, like so. Okay. And I think, here, get the hand out of the way. I kind of want it to have the same space here as I do there. What do you think? That look about right? And this is just an uh, image in design space. And it was separated, the just was above. So I duplicated it and I contoured out the bottom and had the word just. And then on the duplicate, I contoured out the just and had just the for you. And then I put the just ever so slightly touching the for you part and then I did a weld, so it cut it out all as one thing. So contouring is really, really helpful. Okay, and then, yeah, I think I need some, I think I need some sequin. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Let's see. I think it looks good. Okay. And, you know, I always do groups of three and then a two, so that gives me a total of five. I always do an odd number. It's just very pleasing to the eye. Okay. And for the sequin, I always put, it's like a little cup or like a little bowl. So I always have it as if we, you know, we could fill it with something, have it going up in the right direction. Oh, didn't mean to slide that over. This one needs to flip over. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we can pick up. Okay, this is card number four. That's so cute. See how they were just so plain and now just 
putting a little bit of embellishments, whether you're stamping or vinyling or card stocking. Oh, these are so fun. Let's see. Um, I think this needs to dry just a little bit more. So I'm going to let this dry off camera. See, I think it's still kind of shiny. And then we're going to die cut this and then we're going to get it down here. And if it doesn't really work out the way I plan, then I have two options. I can stamp directly on the card, which is totally valid, or I could die cut this one and then put that on the card. So, all right, while I wait for this to dry just a little bit longer, I'm going to go ahead and do a mid craft cleanup. So let's give this a try and see if we like it. This is a die that goes with the thank you. Oh, sorry, that was very loud. Okay, and then I'm just gonna bring in my super tiny, very, very cheap little um, die cut machine. This was one of the first little die cut machines that I ever purchased. It does an okay job. Um, definitely would like to get something more substantial. I have a Spellbinder 6, but I want a small one. So we shall see. Okay, so next I'm going to stick this down. So I've got the stays on on the vellum and then we're going to put this die on here, and I think let's get some mint tape. And I'm just going to make sure that this stays where it should, so that it doesn't shift, because that is not fun. Okay. All right. So there's that. I'm going to put my top plate. I'm just going to send this through. Okay. See how this did. That's not bad. So looks it would look like this. And it's not it's not bad. I don't know that it's perfect, but it's not bad. I have an idea. I think I just changed my mind. Yet again, I'm going to die cut around this here like we did on the vellum so pull off our mid tape this stuff is awesome I'm gonna have to buy some more of that for sure okay and then let's see got a couple Tiny little, all right, take a look. I think this is the better deal. Let's do one more die cut though so that we have some dimension. And I don't need to stamp it. I just need to die cut. And then we'll just punch out these little bitty parts here. Tell you this true control reading duo is phenomenal. Okay, so this will stack 
And that's great. I think we just need one more. I really think three. Well, no, let's do a two. We'll just do two. Okay, something you could do with the Cricut, you could do black and then you could have white cardstock. Black cardstock and white cardstock. I don't know that you would, you would have to do an offset to get the, the white. So the thank you would be done in black and then you would do an offset in white. You could achieve the same look completely with your Cricut. And you could use cardstock or vinyl. Okay, just let that sit for a second. Good, and then we're just going to, I'm not gonna pop this up on pop dots. We'll just let this one be two dimension or two layers. And I'll just go ahead and leave this right here. Okay, so do we want that in the... You, I like that. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four. What do you think? Oh, man, that just... This is just stunning. Okay, let that hang out for a second. All right, so you know I gotta do it. You know I need these little sequins on here. Five for five. Or do we have all five, or did I? I don't remember. It is so late at night slash early morning. Just like that. Okay, that'll work. These definitely make a difference. All right, there we go. That is the final card. Actually, that looks so good. What a difference. That is amazing. Okay, let's take a look at all five and just see. Okay, well, here are all five cards. Now, remember, these were store-bought cards. They didn't have anything on the front. They're blank on the inside. They're just your basic store-bought cards. They came in a pack, so they were all coordinating. They did have cute little colored envelopes. They're by American Greetings, so they're, I mean, they're just such cute cards, but we, were, we managed to use our Cricut to make, basically raise the level of them. Um, so let's see, the first card we did was this one, and that was a banner out of 110 pound cardstock using our Cricut. Then we just stamped the sentiment, put that on some foam tape for some dimension. I don't know, can you see? There you go, you can see the dimension. And some sequin, the Aura Opal from Spellbinders. I really like that sequin. It's really great. So this is a nice little thank you and it just raised the level of that store-bought card. Then the next one, let's see, which one did we do? I think we did this one next. This was two layers of vinyl, so just adhesive vinyl. And we have the white sentiment and then I did an offset in Cricut as well and I used the or the coral color looking good put some more I just did add off camera I did add some sequins I just felt that we needed five for five and um, apparently I didn't put that on there when we first made the card but this just I mean again the level of the card is just so much more than what it was then we had a smiley face card 
And I think I'm going to leave this the way it is. Um, it's just a great little thinking of you card. You could send this to pretty much anybody for anything. And again, off camera, I did add the little sequin because it's just so cute. And this was a scallop circle out of design space. And then a little smiley face scrap piece of vinyl. And we used the the foam tape for dimension. Okay, then this one here. Um, this is the just for you. I got this out of design space. I did uh, duplicate it so that I could contour out the for you and just have the just. I contoured out the just to have just the for you. And then I just moved the two the just and the for you, I moved them so that they, that I could weld them together to make one cohesive sentiment. That actually uh, was very helpful when I was gluing these together. So then I cut it out three times of the 110 pound cardstock, layered it. Look at that. That is some serious dimension. That is great. I love it. Okay, so then we again with the sequin just takes that so fun all right and then this one here okay so stamped this sentiment then die cutted it with a you know just a regular a regular stamp and die set that i happen to have and i stamped it dyed it out then i did another die cut so i could have a little bit of dimension just ever so slight and then we put it in the middle and then again with the sequin so and I don't know guys I'm really I really think that this one is probably my favorite it's just so striking I really really like it so let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite and you know look around and see if you've got any store-bought cards and look around your craft stash and see how you can take your store-bought cards add a little something something to them and make them extra special for your recipients hey well i hope you found this tutorial um, just a little bit of inspirational and informative all at the same time that you can do different things with store-bought cards to make them special and unique for um, giving to people for different things. If you found this uh, video helpful and inspiring in any way, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to share it with your crafty friends. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and turn on the notification bell so that you know when new content is posted. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. I still think this one here is my favorite. I just love this card. And that is really it for this evening. It is super late and I think that I need to head off to bed. Um, that way I could be ready for tomorrow. Um, till I see you in the next video, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.